Hi Aries, welcome to your daily video. I hope you guys are fantastic. Let's see what's coming in for you Aries. Angel Spirits Guides, please show us Aries and the messages that they need to see. Okay, show us Aries please. Show us Aries. Okay, there's something here about having a lot of pressure or responsibility, a lot on your shoulders, um, feeling heavily weighed down. Um, you do get some information or the truth about something. You get clarity. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, we have here someone, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody could be very straightforward with you. Um, this could be your energy as well. Past energy, we have the Five of Cups. Something here making you feel kind of sad or disappointed. But then we have here the Wheel of Fortune. Something is going to be turning in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune is destiny, change, change for the better okay so let's see what we get okay you're taking action on something you're very passionate leader um, strong I feel like you're going after something you're doing something where you have a lot of energy there could also be another fire sign around you wow your energy is seven of swords. There's something you're doing to get the information or to take some information to use it for your benefit. Okay. Someone around you is in the star healing. They have hope for the future. Okay. So you're wanting to be a two of pentacles. You're wanting to find balance in a situation, which means there could be something here that's out of balance. And then we have here a king of coin, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy. This could be your energy as well. Very grounded, solid, practical, in charge of your money, in charge of your finances. So you're in this energy of Gemini where you're sort of gathering information around you. Okay, we have a four of wands, stability, a happy home, possibly taking time off, doing something with a person, a couple. If you're in a couple, this is about goal achievement. We have a king of water, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, someone coming towards you with feelings and emotions emotional maturity okay so I feel like there could be something you're waiting for you're you're ah, I feel like you're there's something where you desperately need the information and there's a four of swords somebody maybe not talking to you or um, there's something where there's no communication with someone. I feel like you're eagerly waiting. Desperate is not the word. It should be like you're, it's like you're eager. And there's someone who's like, no, I'm not going to talk to you. Or there's some kind of disconnect. It could be someone who's waiting to hear from you as well. Why is Aries in this seven of swords hiding information or keeping something we have here the strength something requires inner strength peace okay we have the star again hope for the future is your environment healing hope for the future the past is in the past this is like a fresh start um what is the truth the ace of truth okay there's something you find out from a king of cups or a knight of cups 
an emotional message. There could be an apology. Somebody with expressing their feelings. Why are, is there a queen of swords here? Okay, because there's the wheel. There's something here changing. Okay, what is the five of cups? What is the five of cups? Okay, so there was something here about a judgment, a rebirth. Something is going to be brought back to life. We do have the lovers. There's a relationship. Two people coming together. There's a choice. And then we also got the nine of cups. So there could be something here about happiness. Um, feeling really happy. Feeling good. Um, so you have a king of water here coming towards you. Also a king of earth. And a king of fire. So there's changes happening. People are making changes. Okay, we have the, here the hermit. There could be something about wisdom you're receiving. What is this four of wands for Aries? Stability. I got six of cups, friendship, happy memories. Um positive memories with a person. Why are you in a ten, ten of wands feeling heavily burdened? Okay, we have here a two of cups. One person in this relationship, although the feelings are mutual, one person could feel like they are doing everything without enough support or without support. Like it's imbalanced. So what is the king of wands here? Justice. Okay, so something will be made fair. It might feel unfair if you're the Aries taking on everything. Some of you may be working extra hours. Um, I am getting Four of Swords again. Some of you may need rest, like a break. Take a break. Um, I did get this Eight of Pentacles. You're working hard towards creating a firm foundation for your life in some way. So the star is in your environment. That's pretty interesting. Could be an Aquarius or someone with Aquarius in their chart. So, and it's, let's see. Show us what is this star card energy. Hmm, we're getting a Knight of Swords. Fast moving information. So there's gonna be a quick healing here. Okay, there is going to be maybe an apology because we have a Knight of Cups. We have somebody coming towards you with feelings. Oh, wow. Behind that is Ten of Wands. So many responsibilities you're carrying. Um, okay. We have you eagerly anticipating something here. Three of Wands. Just waiting, you know, eagerly waiting for that ship to arrive. Somebody may have been sort of in this um, contemptuous energy. Somebody who has contempt for other people. Five of Swords is here. But we do have the sun here coming out. We have happiness, joy, success, positive energy. Um, we have illumination. So we do have something here very happy. What is the star card again? What is the healing or the fast healing? Okay, we got a two of cups. So we have two people coming together. Healing. Um, there is hope here in some way. Okay. Now, it did come out with a nine of rods, which is like, don't give up. Don't quit. Um, you do have the stamina to keep going. Why is there a judgment on the Queen of Swords here? Why is there a judgment? Why is there a judgment on the Queen of Swords? Oh my gosh, so there's a judgment. Okay, 
Judgment is about a wake-up call, an awakening, a rebirth. It's something where somebody is blasting the, the message to someone. There's a ten of pentacles here. A long-term commitment, friends, family, money, legacies, firm foundations. Um, why are you getting this wheel of fortune? What is coming in and changing for Aries here? Okay, there's a tower which is like a shock or a surprise because it was already like that and you just didn't know somehow. Um, what is this tower about with the Nine of Cups? I'm sorry, what is this wheel about with the Nine of Cups? Okay. I got the Eight of Pentacles again. Could be something related to your job or money. But I did get the Chariot victory through willpower and determination you're not giving up you're not quitting you're moving ahead very fast okay wow bottom of the deck we do have a nine of cups again wishes coming true emotional satisfaction feeling very satisfied oh we got two nines nine of cups and nine of pentacles having a comfortable life feeling pretty satisfied um, somebody could be helping you out here. We got a Queen of Pentacles. Somebody could be helping you in some way, assisting you. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody who has the authority, the power, um, the patience, the kindness to help you out. Now, justice is underlined here with the Empress. There could be something being made fair in your life that was not fair or didn't feel fair because I have behind that a five of wands, competition and painful feelings or painful thoughts. Okay, maybe a heartbreak. The star card is here with the seven of pentacles. This says to me that you are going to have hope for the future and you will continue to grow. Um, try to put the past in the past. Some of you possibly are still with the Ten of Wands are still carrying around past energy. So you're going to get some good news. Um, something ab around you is about healing. There's definitely a judgment coming. A big decision is being made. Um, you are getting... Harmony between you and a person. Healing. What is the Two of Cups here? What is... Okay, there was something here where someone wasn't cooperative. They weren't accepting or they were refusing. Maybe being stubborn. Okay, what are we getting? Oh, okay. There's something that was going on that possibly was about secrecy. Um, you may have had a, a strong sense of inner knowing that something was off. Um, the death is on the bottom. There's a change or a transformation coming of a situation where you felt left out in the cold, five of pentacles. So there may have been some situation going on here where this situation will be fixed for you. So let's see what we get here. For you, Aries. Okay, so I have here the storm warning. Um, I have the angel of strength. Drawing upon your inner strength to get through a difficult time. Um, you know, everybody has challenges. And... What doesn't break you makes you stronger. We have the goddess of the moon following your intuition. We have a man holding a coin. Somebody here is holding this coin out to you saying, here's an opportunity. 
Um, here's something of value I'm giving you. And then we have here, fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, healing of your heart. Okay, I got first chakra, Archangel Raphael, or Michael, you are physically protected. This is an energy of root chakra survival and being protected by heaven, God, your archangels. Bottom of the deck is the sun. The sun will shine again. Whatever it is you're going through, there will be positive energy, happiness. The sun will illuminate. There are caring connections around you. Okay, I am going to leave this here for you, Aries. Thank you so much for watching my channel, and take care.